I'm Alex Moore on behalf of That Nerd Show, and we are at the first annual Women's Texas Film Festival. I'm here with Kate Gondwe. So tell us about you and tell us about the puppet lady. Um, okay, so my name is Kate Gondwe. I'm a high school filmmaker. And um, the puppet lady is a short documentary on Lily Solomon, who is a seamstress, milliner, and puppeteer based in Stillwater, Oklahoma. She's 87 years old. She's been doing this almost all of her life. And um, it was it, the, the documentary really was just to capture what it was like to be a creative person and what it was like to have a creative mind. And she was one of the perfect people to do that because her passion, her strive, her her craft was really amazing. And me being a really in a really young generation, it was really inspiring to see something that usually isn't very you know, puppetry isn't something that we take, you know, and so it was really interesting to see that and to see like her lifestyle. And, and, yeah. So how do you how do you come to meet somebody like a uh, seamstress who makes puppets? What was the how did you come about? Was it sort of a fortuitous encounter that led to this or what? Um, okay, so I actually um, know Lily because her um, her daughter, sorry, is uh, my college counselor, and she was always talking to about how she wanted to make document her mom and it was right around the time that I was really interested in making a series about what it was like to be a creative person and what it was like to have a creative mind and um, it was just all it was basically all timing that kind of led it together. Did you ever look at some of her work? Was there any specific puppets per se that really got your attention, or was it just the overall work that really got to you? I would say it was the overall work. Um, her her um, place was overwhelming. It's full of puppetry, and um, it was really inspiring to see. And we we actually didn't really get to see her work completely, just because you know she's older and it's hard to do that. But we got to see her work and re recompose them, so that was really fun to see. Okay, so. Uh, being this that this is the Women's Film Festival, we have to ask this question, and I think it's a really interesting thing to ask. What, what would you see was your key influence as a woman in, in going into filmmaking at such a young age, especially? Okay, well, for me, I don't think it was a, a woman. I would just, I would say when I was about eight years old is when I started getting into filmmaking, and right around that time, I didn't really see representation. Exactly. They didn't look like me, and you know, I was I was admired by Francis Coppola, Wes Anderson, and you know, and all the amazing directors and um, I think I was just as I got into it the more and more I looked for female um, filmmakers that, that I was able to you know if they can do it I can do it and um, being a part of this just you know is a, being a part of the movement of fighting for women in film and I think that's really inspiring and I hope there's another young girl you know, who wants to be a filmmaker and they can see that you know now we have Ava DuVernay and Catherine Bigelow who's been there forever and you know Sophia Coppola and all these amazing directors and they can look at them and feel like you know what if, if they can do it I can do something like too. Well, I hope to see you on the big stage one of these days. We'll Thank be looking. You. One last question, though, because we are that nerd show, and this is a big year for Star Trek and Star Wars. There's so much going on between the two. If you could make your pick as a as a as a filmmaker, what would be your choice? Star Trek or Star Wars, and why? I'm scared of the Star Wars fans. <laughs> Some say Star Wars. <laughs> and plus, if I could get Steven Spielberg to you know come in and watch it, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You gotta put that person in there. Okay, right. great. And, and JJ. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck to you. Yeah, thank you.